Good morning, Facebook family and YouTube subscribers. Today is, what is today? I know it's Tuesday. Tuesday, um, the 21st of January. Tuesday, January 21st, 2014. I'm just getting up, having a cup of coffee. And I spent the weekend communicating with some friends on Facebook and Twitter and um well, one of, the, one of the things I was discussing with, in the midst of my conversations with a couple of friends who I know through Facebook and social media, the conversation came up about erectile dysfunction, ED. Um, erectile dysfunction, or ED, is when a man's penis no longer is capable of getting a heart on, or become, he's not capable of getting an erection, or he's having problems getting an erection. Um, I'm 43 years of age. I'll be 44 in a few months. So far, thank God, this has not proven to be a problem for me. Um, I tend to be in the best health that I can be. I do suffer from high blood pressure, but I keep that under control with my blood pressure pills and through diet and exercise. I'm trying to keep that under control. But more and more, I'm meeting a lot of brothers in their 30s and up who suffer from various ailments, diabetes, high blood pressure, HIV, who, guys who've had cancer, um, who've had treatment for cancer, prostate cancer, or any type of cancer. A lot of these guys, as they, for some reason or another, are now suffering from ED, erectile dysfunction, and they're not capable of getting a hard-on or a complete or hard-on or a complete erection to have sex. And this has proven to be a, ma a major problem I'm getting to see. Because I first heard about this a year ago from a couple of brothers, I was kind of surprised. But now more and more African-American men, particularly gay men that I know, are expressing to me the problems that they're having maintaining an erection. And it has changed their entire life. You have some brothers who were considered the top in a relationship now having to reverse positions because they can no longer hold an erection, so you can't be topping somebody if your penis can't get on hard. And a lot of these brothers are embarrassed. They're very embarrassed about this, and they don't want to... They're embarrassed about it, and they don't know how to go about discussing this with anyone. Some of them don't even want to go to doctors who, who specialize in ED, which is kind of crazy. If I'm having a problem with my penis that's not working properly, I'm going my ass to the doctor's office. This shit needs to be fixed. Now, give me whatever you got. We need to fix this. Well, a lot of brothers, African-American men, you know how we are. We're about going to doctors. Um, people are embarrassed. And, in, in, especially when it's dealing with your sexual organs, some people are just embarrassed or ashamed to walk into a doctor's office and tell them what's going on. You know, you can get Viagra. There's all types of solutions to ED that can make your penis function normally. But you got to go seek treatment. You got to go seek help. And the first question I always ask these guys, have you went and sought help? And they always said, no, I just, I haven't did anything. You got a problem that's affecting your life. You are a man. Your penis is not working. You can't get an erection. This is creating all types of havoc in your life. Mentally, physically, you can't do sex the way you want to. And you won't go seek the type of help from a doctor who specializes, who can help you get your shit back on hard. Excuse my language. I don't understand it. It's kind of shocking to me that so many people are that afraid are embarrassed and don't want to discuss it. I, I get it. I guess I don't embarrass that easily. If I got a problem, I don't care what's going on. I'm going to my doctor's office and say, take a look down there and see what's going on. It looks kind of green. It don't look right. What do you think it is? I'm going to go and see and get it resolved. Guys, this is, why, this is what I dislike about the black gay community. We don't want to discuss stuff. Silence. Everybody's quiet. Now, you got all these brothers walking around here with ED, erectile dysfunction. There should be groups, support groups, meetings. This works. That, discussions. But we don't say anything. We live in silence, and it pisses me off. 
We're men. Speak up. Say something. Talk. Because the silence is deafening in our community. And I hate it. And some people, people criticize me because I have these discussions. These discussions need to be had. We need to be discussing this type of stuff. ED is a very serious disorder which can cause a lot of problems for an African American man, straight man, gay man, whoever. Your penis is not working. You need help. So you can have a normal life. It could possibly be fixed, but you have to go get help, talk, seek support, find out solutions to your problem. If Viagra don't work, find out what the next thing is. Just don't stop with that. There are all kinds of stuff that you can do to keep to resolve your issues. And I've, like I said, I've met a lot of brothers who are having this problem, and yet not one of them have been to a doctor's office that specializes in erectile dysfunction. I don't get it. But I understand the embarrassment to a degree. But at some point, you're going to have to put that embarrassment to the side. Put that embarrassment to the side. Go get the help that you need because this problem is affecting you. you know, I mean, I can't imagine trying to have a sex life or a relationship and things are not functioning properly. That could be explained why so many older men are single. Because they're embarrassed about their situation and they don't have, know how to approach it. And if they tell another brother their penis is not working, nine times out of ten, that other brother may not, gay brother, well, might, not, even a woman might not hang around. She, what? Your shit ain't working? Oh, boo, boo, this ain't gonna work for me. I don't know. I, I, I'm not, I don't have that problem. And I pray and hope I don't have this problem, that problem. That's why I'm trying to keep my health in fairly good health. But I am finding diabetes, People with severe high blood pressure problems and HIV for some reason. Those three things um, create have created a lot of erectile dysfunction problems for, for most of the people I've talked to. Um, well, we know high blood pressure high, high blood pressure can be combated. We know diabetes might can be with weight loss. You might be able to get that together. HIV, I don't really know what your workarounds would be to get your penis back working. Because I think it might be the medications themselves, which might be causing them to have some type of cardiovascular problem, which would keep their penis from functioning properly. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I'm just going by the little research I did on the internet. But anyway, the reason I was doing this video is because I want to bring it up, the subject up, so people can talk about this. And let you guys know, you're not alone. You're not the only person who's suffering from this problem. Because I've met quite a few brothers recently, in the past year. Quite a few who have this problem. And they don't know what to do about it. And they're not really doing anything about it. They're just sitting at home, looking out the windows, trying to... And they need to get up and go seek help. Go see a doctor who specializes in ED and get the problem fixed. You can probably get it fixed. So that your penis functions normally and properly so you can have go back to having a normal sex life anyway i'm out um if you like my videos please click like give me some feedback are you suffering from ed and how did you resolve the problems did you fix it did you are you still suffering from it? did you go see a doctor there was did, did going to seek treatment help you resolve ed hmm. let me know i'm very curious to hear you got thoughts on the subject, and why is it so embarrassing? Why are people so embarrassed about it? I mean, I get it, but I really don't think it's something that people should be embarrassed about, but a lot of guys are embarrassed about their penis not functioning properly. Anyway, I'm out. You guys have a great day, and I look forward to reading your comments. Don't forget to click. If you like my videos, click like, and share them with family, friends, neighbors, the mailman, Anybody who got email, you can just click on the link and email it to that person. I'm out of here. You guys have a great day.